Happy and holidays don't always go together, especially for those of us with depression and anxiety. And if you're one of those people suffering right now, there is a relatively new treatment that may be able to help you in a hurry. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Good to see you, Danielle. Good to see you. Thank you so much for sharing your story. Please tell us what your struggle has been with depression. Um, well, beyond now and far beyond now, mm -hmm. um, I struggled with depression in my childhood. Um, I had some trauma um, when I was young and it, it led to a lot of problems in my teenage years. And from there, it kind of went into a lot of um, acting out, which led to more trauma, um, and put in a psychiatric unit mul multiple times throughout my life. So just a lot of heartache throughout my younger years and into adolescence and then into my mid-20s. So um, that combined with a lot of different medications for diagnoses, misdiagnoses, um, it's been a rough road. Because of those things and because of those traumas that I went through, doing daily normal things, driving, leaving the house, getting the mail, talking to neighbors, was felt nearly impossible. And if I did, I would seem fine. Everyone was oh, you seem fine. I'd go in on the inside, I was cringing and go in and, you know, have, have a glass of wine or a drink or try and self-medicate because everything that I did on the outside was terrifying. It was hard. It's hard to have friendships. It's hard to have relationships when no one knows what they're gonna get from you. After trying every antidepressant, bipolar drug, every every drug I could think of, and even self-medication with things like mushrooms and weed and cocaine and, and anything else you can think of to try and escape this constant feeling of not being good enough and depression and, and anxiety, um, my dad finally was looking at an article in New Scientist and read about ketamine. Remember, if you need anything at all, just wave or speak, and we'll be right in the room. Okay. Okay. I'll just raise my hand. Okay. Great. Well, I'm looking forward to feeling better. Okay. I was tearing up listening to Carrie. This is why I do this. This is not my original career at all. I jumped on this when I learned of it, and uh, I am so happy that I did. And it's such a source of gratification. This is a wonderful thing for a doctor to do, because almost all of us went to medical school in some way or another, I want to help people, I want to relieve suffering. Well, this really does that. It was having that neutral third party in my brain go, what are you actually afraid of here? Is this happening to you now? And to have finally a voice in my head that wasn't constantly berating me with, you're not good enough, you're not lovable, no one's gonna support you. I finally had another voice in my mind that said, it's okay. And that, I think, has been one of the biggest breakthroughs for me. What's the science behind it? The science behind it is still being discovered. But at this point, what we understand is that it actually starts a sequence of events, neurochemical events in the brain, that lead to new growth in the areas of the brain that kind of involute and kind of shrink up from depression. Parts of the brain actually shrink when you get depressed. When you give ketamine, they actually regrow. Here at the Ketamine Clinics Los Angeles, the drug is given through an IV pump in a series of six treatments over two to three weeks. With this, you just program the pump and you get a very precise dose. It's fast, it's safe, and it works over 80% of the time. Everyone should have the opportunity to have this. The suffering that they relieve will benefit not only them, but everyone else in their life. It's been a complete game changer. I know how miserable it is to wake up every day and think, what am I gonna do with my life? And where is this going? And this complete existential dread and crisis feeling that I had. So if I could share my story and help anyone um, by sharing, then I felt like this was the most important thing I could do pass that on. Coming up, Malou is sneaking up for surprise victim number two. It's going to be fun and it's just a couple minutes away right here on California Live.